All right. Hello, my name is Schmoopy Daddy, and I am a monthly Hearthstone WOD legend player who typically hits legend first of the month. But you probably already know that if you're watching this channel. Um, Perils in Paradise, from my perspective, has been less about how it is impacting the wild meta in a dominant way. It's not necessarily printing um, tier one decks that are sort of upending the meta and giving Perils of Paradise its own feel through just like we're playing completely different stuff. It's more doing work along the edges, along tier two, tier three, giving us a lot of variety of things that we can try and play. Like So for example, before Perils in Paradise, we did not have Pirate DH. It's a Pirate DH by uh, Corbett and NHL fan. Um, I've gotten turn three lethals with this deck. Um, we are including Arana, the Priest Taurus, so that we can run quality pirate brain masseuse and acupuncture. Um, again, with Arana up, acupuncture in theory can go eight face as long as um, there's no other minions in the way. The deck is playing around Magnifying Glaive as the main draw engine, which is why we're playing stuff like Dispose of the Evidence to get our more expensive cards back into our deck. Um, and other than that, we're just doing like really neat tokeny piratey synergies. Um, that's one way to take it. Another place you could take it is what Copper Scum is working on right now. So Copper Scum took this deck from 1400 on EU up to 12. And it's going more into the tokeny aspect. The Swarmy 1-1 one, one Chargers, um, for that reason, we're running Old Card Stri uh, Field of Strife, which pairs nicely with Sigil of Skydiving and Treasure Distributor. Um, but we're also running wide board buffs like uh, Halveria, you know, one attack and now everything, poof, is buffed up plus one attack. Uh, Hosen Roughhouser, which is going to everything, every time a pirate attacks, poof, gets a little bit bigger. Zilliax goes without saying. Paraglide goes great in this deck because, um, as somebody pointed out to me, they're like, well, I usually, if I'm paying three mana for draw on an aggro deck, I want that to have bodies attached to it. If you're playing Padres the Pilot, there's a good chance you will have bodies attached to the Paraglide. This deck is doing very well for me, and uh, it has some really funny explosive turns, so I highly suggest giving that a shot. Um, Pupil OTK, I've demonstrated this before on stream multiple times in multiple videos with different um, you know, objective capacities. This OTK version, I think, is like the newest thing to come out of um, Perils in Paradise. Uh, Bran, Mailbox Dancer, weave in a Shadow Step someplace that the pupil sees it. Uh, you take two Shadow Steps off of the Tide Pool pupil because of the double battle cry enabled by Bran. And then you st Shadow Step the pupil, Shadow Step the Mailbox Dancer so that it's seen a Shadow Step. Play the sh Mailbox Dancer for free, print two coins, play the Tide Pool pupil, print two Shadow Steps. Continue this cycle. It's an infinite mana cycle. You can make a gigantic Draka weapon that goes face. I've seen some people do a gigantic um, Edwin. Uh, but you're basically just like like free mana, just doing whatever the hell you want. Um, I This is not as scary a deck as we thought it was going to be. It is definitely limited by animation cheating or uh, animation. Like animation cheating can get around it a little bit, but uh, it loses to multiple tomps. It loses to the most minor of uh, disruption. So right now I'd probably rate it around as good as, let's say, like that old like Dorian Tog Druid that people were doing um, at the end of last mini set. Uh, I, I think it's probably a little bit more consistent than that, but not much. You can also aggro it down, or you could beat people on turn three. Um, you've seen me do a bunch of videos, or at least highlight at least two games on Copper Scum's uh, Tempo Mage. Get a one drop down. At some point, get your Flame Waker down. Pairing Concierge with Flame Waker means that all of the Paladin spells cost zero, and you just basically rain hell on the opponent. Um, Mantle Shaper is a great Tempo minion to get down. Volume up, which looks a little bit awkward at first, can get you multiple zero mana sea shanties for even more boards, which is always disgusting. Um, just really cool list. One of my favorite things to play this expansion, and it does pretty well into other aggro decks. Um, last but not least, we start getting into more combo. Um, 
I believe the user's name was Lucky Dog from uh, the China server. He hit rank two with uh, what I guess you'd call like Cups Mage is what I, my chat was calling it tonight. Essentially, you're taking uh, Go with the Flow, attaching it to a Sorcerer's Apprentice, making multiple copies using buy one, get one freeze or reverberations. So you have multiple Sorcerer's Apprentices with multiple, multiple spell damages. Uh, and then you just at some point rip Sea Breeze Chalices, Heat Waves, or uh, Frost bolts from Jaina's gifts and hopefully the opponent explodes um fun deck kind of hard to pilot definitely a little bit more apm intensive you always have the out of uh rolling the one in three correct elemental companion if you run out of girls which is always an option um but really cool again i've seen it win as early as turn three but does get aggroed down so that is a bonus for me good against greed bad into aggro uh, this deck is really fun. Uh, I actually played a game that I'm going to post um, later, but I played a game tonight where uh, ideally what you have is Concierge and Invitation Courier down at the same time. And Concierge makes Concierge makes all your Sea Breeze Chalices cost one less, while Invitation Courier adds a additional Chalice to your hand every time you cast Chalice. And so um, you cast the first Seabreeze Chalice, you now have two two-stage Seabreeze Chalices in your hand. Each of those casts two more Chalices. So with a little bit of spell damage, it's an absurd amount of burn. We've also got like Moonbeam just over the top if we really need it to go over the top. And, uh, you know, Wild Heart Guff just to make sure that, uh, you know, mana is no object. Uh, this was made by... Uh, Formerly coming virus, now just virus on Twitch, Vexy virus. Uh, he's been sending me like builds of his deck and iterations in, in my DMs. Um, and I really like this version. This is a fun deck too. So I wouldn't go out of my way to crafting a ton for this expansion yet, especially because Standard is sure to see some balance adjustments before too long. However, if you have the cards for these decks, um, I highly suggest playing them. And that is six. Uh, new decks to try that didn't exist before Perils of Paradise.